Right, hi guys. Um, just a really quick video to update you. This is my new SSG. I've removed the alternator from the top, and it's now driving my old SSG. Um, it's just, you know, the mag. It's like magnet gears, if you will. Um, because I've seen other people doing kind of experiments that are the same, so. I thought I'd do one. Let me see if I can get some RPM measurements for you. Okay, on the CD, which has got four magnets driving it around the outside, I'm getting 691 RPM, more or less, 692. So 700 RPM. Oh, 1,800. You know, somewhere near that, just below 1,000. Okay. Now if I do it. This one, the one being turned, is going two and a half thousand, three thousand, around that area, two thousand six, seven hundred something. There, which is pretty cool. So that's four magnets on the CD, driving six magnets on here, both monopole north out. Okay, and that's that. Interesting thought I'd do that for the rest of you who are mainly the guys on Energetic Forum that are, that are doing that. Right. Um, I have removed uh, one of my resistors from the Bedini circuit. Uh, the one that's you know, on the trigger with the pot. The 100 ohm, I believe it is. Because that's what happened to it. Let's see if I can focus. blackened quite badly it's very dark now you can't even see the you can see colour bands on it but it's obviously been burnt out and bring it back to focus there you go right, it's obviously been burnt out quite badly so I'm now just using the pot and again um, I'm consuming about just over an amp now and I think it's something to do Right, I'm moving the mic so you can hear. That's the noise. And it slows it down, I'll get rid of the resistance again. I have to get this back into time. So, sorry about that. so basically, I'm having this squealy problem and warm coil now. Uh, and I can put another resistor in, and I probably will, but it'll just burn out like the other one. What is the problem of my squealy coils? Why is it squealy? Why is it getting so warm? And why am I using so much now? I imagine it's without the resistor. Yeah. But I can, you know, always put more resistance using the pot to counter that. I'll give you it's less precise, but I should be able to do it. Easy. But as soon as I go past what I would consider the sweet spot, now it doesn't do it because it's up to speed. Look how far I can adjust my pot. Yeah. Using 150 milliamps now. I'm loving that I've caught this on video. The coil isn't squealing now. But I believe it is slowing down. So I'll try to find the sweet spot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. S squealing. It's really temperamental. I don't know if I've got a bad pot or what, but this is. Ah, it's really starting to do my nothing. It could be just my pot is really badly wound, but I do make sure that the the trigger wires come off on this side and the power wires come off on this side. I'm not keeping it ordered as best I can. It might be not, you know, 
It's not a It's a not badly wound coil. I'm sure I could do better and make it bigger. And if that's the problem, then that's the problem. But I really wish somebody uh, with a bit of know-how on squeedy coils would message me. But yeah, anyway, that's been driven by that, and it's going many times the speed. Uh, and it's not having too much of a a draw on the. I believe you know when you put um, your finger on a bedini, like so, and it you slow it down, but it uses less juice. I think it'll only have that effect, if you know what I mean. So, see, it runs at the same speed even when it's not driving it. So, if you have any comments or thoughts about this, they'd be much appreciated. Um, and thanks for watching. So, just under a thousand RPM. This will run at just under three thousand RPM. That's pretty good. I'm not too sure about torque on this one, but four magnets, six magnets. Brilliant. Right, well, that's everything for now. Um, anything about squealy coils, if anybody's got anything that they'd like to share, then that'd be much appreciated. Um, bye for now.